In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this creative PowerPoint slide and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created these three parts where I've added these illustrations. The first one, I've added this kind of a beach chair where I've added the text holidays and you can add some detailed text. Then there's guitar and the cake. So when I click, this will become extended and then you can add some fun and music, some detailed text. And then when I click, it goes to the third one. Again, this part is, you can see here, holidays then the second one then the third one so depending on the requirement you can uh, increase or decrease these options and change the color options as well please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background. For that right mouse click, go to the format background. Under the fill color, I'm going to use the eyedropper and I'm going to use this color which is aqua. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select the rectangle and just click it here. Here at the height, I'm going to make as 5.4 and the width, I'm going to make it as 8.2 shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to place it something like this here all right then duplicate the object by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and reduce the width you can see here just width only we need to reduce all right and i'm going to duplicate one more time and then put it here all right you can see here now i'm going to change the color of these objects so first object i'm going to select shape fill eyedropper i'm going to use this color which is the blue color then i'm going to select this one shape fill eyedropper i'm going to use this red and then i'm going to use the black color so this three color combination i have used or it's depending on your requirement you can just change the color as per your need all right so once this is done go to the insert icons and you can see here there are a lot of different options are available images icons cutouts stickers videos illustrators and cartoons so i'm going to use the illustrator and make sure that you when you're using the latest version of powerpoint like 2019 or office 365 uh, these features are available all right so you can see here i'm just going to uh, randomly select the illustrations depending on the requirements so i'm going to select this one let me just go down further i'm going to select this guitar and then i would like to add kind of a holiday so let me just check yeah these three images i'm going to insert and i've selected this one all right then i'm going to hold the shift key reduce the size all right so now the first one this guitar is going to go here the cake is going to go here and this chair the beach chair is going to go here and then again depending on the requirement you can just change the color you want for example i would like to change this color and i would like to make it a bigger then here reduce the size maybe some different color combination you can use maybe green color and here i'm going to use maybe a, a blue color reduce the size further all right so you can see here this is very uh, uh, my first slide and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert some text here i'm going to just say holidays all right and choose any font first of all i'm going to change the font color white increase the size and you can just choose any font for example i'm going to choose maybe this acceleration and reaction all right so this font any font of your choice you can use and then go to the insert text box here equals lorem within brackets one and i don't want this much long text deleting some text white font center align and put it here 
all right so you can see here this is my very first slide now the next thing which i'm going to do is that my focus should go on to this particular slide for that select the slide right mouse click and duplicate the slide then here i'm going to change the the size of the rectangles all right so you can see here the size here is 2.31 and 5.4 and here is 8.2 okay so same thing like 2.31 i'm going to make this for so 2.31 all right and this one it should be 8.4 all right and then move it you can see here all right now this particular illustration i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to sorry i'm going to put it here this holidays again i can reduce the size you can see here and put it here and this also i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to put it here all right now this guitar i'm going to increase the size and put it exactly in the center and then i'm going to copy this these things this two text here control c and paste it here and i'm going to say for example music or whatever the text i'm just giving some samples here all right and then the this particular text has to come from the bottom for that let me just copy this one go to the first slide and paste it and bring this down why am i doing that one i'll show it to you all right so now go to the second slide go to the transitions select the morph you can see here how it comes and the duration i'm going to reduce to one second so now if you see here this is my first slide when i click it comes something like this all right so you can see here the music text is coming from the bottom all right then comes the third one so again right mouse click duplicate the slide then here the size is going to be reduced which is i believe 2.31 and the size of the guitar also is going to reduce and it's coming going to put it here again this size also i'm going to reduce it and put it here and this also i'm going to reduce the size and put it something like this all right now this one should be 8.4 and move it increase the size of this cake and you can copy this text now Control C, Control V, and you can just say party, fun and fun and party or whatever. You can see here. And again, this text I'm going to copy, go to the second slide and paste it here and bring it down. All right. So now let's see how it looks. So this is my slide number one, this is my slide number two, and this is my slide number three. So you can see here, this is how it works.